Today's episode of the Island Archives podcast is brought to you by Old Road Rum. Old Road Rum is driven by a desire to celebrate the cultural history of St. Kitts and Nevis and is tropically aged for 12 years to present the pure expression of a well-crafted rum. Today's episode of the Island Archive podcast features a pioneer who made his way onto the big screen and into the hearts of millions. Sidney Poitier was born in Miami, Florida in 1927 while his parents were visiting as they were Bahamian farmers who traveled to sell their produce. Poitier was raised in the Bahamas, specifically on Cat Island, until he moved back to Miami at the age of 15. Lying about his age, you had to be 18 to enlist, he joined the army at age 16. Then, he pretended to be mentally ill in order to obtain a discharge after nine months, and later admitted the rules in his book, The Measure of a Man, a Spiritual Autobiography. After moving to New York, he was able to obtain a job at Harlem's American Negro Theater and as a dishwasher. But he had two major issues that cost him his job at the theater. His heavy Bahamian accent and limited reading ability. So, to overcome his so-called accent issues, he began to practice imitating radio announcers, as we would now call code switching. And as fate would have it, a waiter would teach him to read more fluently by using the daily newspaper during their breaks. After much tribulation trying to become an actor, Poitier broke onto the scene in Blackboard Jungle, where he played a gifted student in an interracial school. He was not only the first Caribbean actor to receive superstar status, but he became the first black actor to win the Academy Award for Best Actor for Lilies of the Field in 1963. Surviving the racist obstacles of Hollywood, Poitier paved the way for black actors, while simultaneously becoming outspoken for the civil rights movement and producing critically acclaimed Hollywood masterpieces. Apart from being an author, shout out to the waiter, he served as an ambassador for the Bahamas and also received the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2009, presented to him by another pioneer, some guy named Barack Obama. Poitier's fascinating story has inspired many generations, and his journey shows us that with some perseverance, dedication, and a little bit of luck, we too can chart our own path in history. The Island Archive podcast is a Pelican Media Group production and is brought to you by Old Road Rum. To hear more, log on to www.islandarchive.com or check us out on all streaming platforms.